Sergeant Willie P. You told me to look into the camera, baby, and you told me to speak like a real man. So I'm gonna do this. Take this earplug out. Got this uh, action music playing in the background because this is action packed right here. What I'm gonna do is what you do, what you just did. That's one hell of a video you just did. And you made a hell of a lot of sense in it. But like I told you, man, you need to look at the video I just put up the other day called Hood Report. I went back to the old neighborhood and I saw some things that completely disturbed me. And yeah, you are right. These women have been fucking reprogrammed so fucked up that they have no sense of self-respect. Fuck respecting some black man when the motherfuckers can't respect themselves. So let me tell you something, Sergeant Willie P. I never once disagreed with you in any of your videos. I just tried to tell you from another perspective how they should be. Yeah, enable these motherfuckers. They already know they're fucking stupid. Well, how come you don't just get on there and say, you know what, this is how the prototypical black woman should be. This is how a woman should be. Don't be doing what these hip hop bitches and street ghetto hood rat ass bitches be doing. You don't wanna create another hood, hood rat. But you do. You help create hood rats by telling these dumb assholes how stupid they are. We should tell them how smart they could be, how beautiful they could look, what they can get out of life instead of what they got out of life. And you goddamn right. Some of these motherfuckers want the hardest headest motherfucker they got in the hood. They want the motherfucker guns blazing. They want the crack dealing, bitch slapping motherfucker. They want a real strong, hardcore man because that's all they have been taught. And you get the strongest motherfucker out there and you got a better chance to make it. But if every man out there is just as weak is the ones that they mama had what the fuck you think they got what the fuck do you think they gonna get Willie P and no 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 I do not try to sound profound and uh, to push the limits in any way shape or form I am just doing something that's been a long time ago, done a long time ago and you do the same thing it's the way you project your voice out there that brings action to the words in which you speak and yes once again with my limited vocabulary I speak in a circle I speak in riddles so when you break the riddle down Sergeant Willie P I'm saying the exact same thing you are but I'm saying it different I'm saying it in a manner to where these girls can feel better about themselves instead of falling on the same old rut they in yeah they want the hardcore nigga. They want the bad motherfucker. They don't want the college nigga. They don't want the nigga going to work every day. They want the motherfucker that's got that street credibility, but the streets. The streets is where we come from, and the streets is not where I want my son and my child to be. I don't want your kids to be in the streets. Because when I went back to the hood, Sergeant Willie Pete, it was some pretty fucked up shit I saw in the hood. I saw some real fucked up shit in the hood, and I have been detached. But maybe I should take my ass back to the hood and teach these motherfuckers just like you trying to teach people right now. Me and you can both jaw jab and fight and battle it out every motherfucking day, but it still won't change anything. The only things we can change are the way we perceive things. Change the way we think. Those people who follow us or listen to us or, or whatever they want to do with this little YouTube thing between me and you, they think we fighting. We're not fighting Willie P. And if we are fighting, we fighting on the same team. So these people out here who watch these videos, they see me hit you, then they see you hit me back, and we getting all bloody up in this motherfucker behind some bitches, some hoes. They're not women, they're not ladies, they're not even, they're nothing. When I went back to the hood, I ain't see one motherfucking woman in the hood that had any sense of dignity. I saw some fucked up shit, you know, from Oakland to Berkeley to Richmond, fucked up shit. And there's one part of the video where I was at my brother's house and I was so fed up with the bullshit, I left. So I'm seeing these, this group of the black girls come out. I'm like, oh my God, finally. Finally, some cute girls, you know what, what? You know, I ain't seen no cute women all day. And they was from the hood. They was as pretty as could be, two out of five. But then when they spoke, I don't want no bitches coming to my neighborhood. When they when they showed the colors. And yeah. That shit reminded me of some old fucked up ass shit. Reminded me of, of way back when. I thought things would change in the hood. But it comes down to this, Sergeant Willie P. And this goes way back further than me, you, or anything that we could possibly think of. There was an old saying, a child cannot raise a child because a child is a child. 
and that's what I saw. I saw a bunch of kids in control of the hood. Children. No grown-ups, just all children. So when you got a pack of kids, they're gonna have a childish mentality. And that childish mentality has been whittled down not just from the mothers, but from them fathers that aren't there. So when you got some, some, oh God, man, you got me balling today. I'm sweating all up in this motherfucker. So Sergeant Willie P, what I mean to say is this, you got the power to make these people think differently. But when you advertise, I'm gonna say advertise because your shows are pretty good and people watch your shows and people listen to your shows. Five stars, six stars, seven stars. I've given you a few five stars and you know this, man. Look at that. So what I'm saying, Willie, is this. We have the power to teach these women to be women. They can be like your woman. I mean, your, your mom. They can be like my woman. These girls have the opportunity. They, they can be what we see them as. But the mentality of, I want to be self-reliant. Uh, I got to have this and I got to have that. That mentality has destroyed them from the inside out. And yeah, when I say things about uh, the past, you say slavery, and throughout time, man, come on. Your man is getting his ass whooped and shit by some white dude every motherfucking day. The white dude can come fuck you anytime he wants to. Your man can't do nothing about it. Now, if you believe anything in, uh, was it, uh, you know, DNA and, and all that, the, the things that are in our system are still in our system. These recessed memories from way back, that shit is still in us. You might not see it, you might not feel it. But that shit is still in us. I see it and I feel it every day. And when I can't do something, or when I can't do something, but I'm treated this way once I do it. So Sergeant Willie Pete, a whole bunch of our history is still in us. And all this shit that you say, and the shit I say, don't mean shit. It means nothing to anyone but you or me. We're the only people that care about what we say. But it's how we say it. We say it in a manner to where other people fall in. They fall in line. People will march behind the Sergeant Willie P. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. You need to march these bitches into some motherfucking uh, charm goddamn school. You have the power to tell them to be a woman. You know, and, and, and what you do is you talk about the bad part of it. I talk about the good part. I try to talk about the good part. I try not to say anything negative about women, black women in particular. Why? Because I want my woman to see that I am trying to continue in a fashion to where all young girls can say they can be respected by a black man. But if we show these girls, these children, disrespect, the fuck are they going to want? Like my brother said, bitches is licking pussy. Hoes is on hoes now. That motherfuckers, man, ain't got no time for no dudes. What I'm trying to say, the, pres pres the preservation of our race depends on it. The preservation of basic common black respect for one another depends on what we say. It does depend on, am I going to make a difference? Am I Dr. Martin Luther Lonzo? Hell the fuck no. But you're not Dr. Martin Luther Willie Pete either. So Willie Pete, please, do one video for me. I haven't watched your whole collection. I have been digging through the, the Willie Pete collection. So do this one video for me. One video. One video where you say nothing but great things about a black woman. Where you can uplift every one of them instead of putting a couple in their place. Because like I said before in a couple other videos, when you say black women, the small-minded people out there automatically assume that you think all of them. And yeah, these women out there hear you say black woman and don't never finish the fucking videos. Just like my videos, a lot of people don't get to the end of the videos. I know I started off hot and I'm cooling off right now. It's hot as a motherfucker up in here. I want to take all my clothes off. But now, hey, once again, Brothers commenting some rap video where bitches is acting stupid and shit. We need, as a people, to teach these girls right and wrong. We can go get them and pimp them, but we can't get them and teach them? Shit, I give a fuck. But, you caught me off guard today, Sergeant Willie Pete. My guard will always be up now around your ass. And Willie Pete, I don't know if this was good enough. I don't know if I made any sense, but you've been tubed again.
thank you. And I'm going to 